What is going on guys, it's Amit, you're watching Dev Dreamer, and welcome to lesson 21 in JavaScript. In this lesson, we're going to learn all about control flow. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe down below and choose all notifications by clicking the bell so you never miss an update. Okay, so welcome back to lesson 21. So in the previous lessons then, we've learned quite a lot about different primitive data types, built in global objects such as math and date, and different kinds of operators. What we're going to be doing over the next few lessons is learn all about something called control flow. So let's take a look at what control flow actually is. So by default then, our JavaScript code is executed from top to bottom, line by line. However, we can change this with control flow. Control flow allows our program to make decisions about what code is executed and when. So this is where JavaScript really starts to come alive. JavaScript contains certain conditional statements and loops that enable us to control the flow of our code making our projects and applications more powerful, more dynamic, and more interactive. Now let's understand all this by looking at a flowchart. Now you've seen flowcharts before, I'm sure. You start at the top, you follow the journey through, answer the questions, and then as you go along, depending on your answers, you'll be taken along a certain path until you reach a conclusion. And this is basically control flow in action. Let's take a look at an example. Okay, so for this example then, we've got two paths, order takeaway or don't order. And so hopefully this is gonna help us to decide whether we need to order takeaway or not. So we start here then with the question, are you hungry? So this has two possible answers, yes or no. Let's go for no. So now the next question is, did you eat recently? Let's say yes, we did. And in that case then, the conclusion is, well, don't order. Let's go for a different one. Let's say, are you hungry? Yes. Is there any food in the house? Yes. Do you want to eat it? No. So in that case, order takeaway. So control flow is all about the order in which our code is run. We're able to control the flow of our code and either execute or loop over certain sections based upon whether a given condition is true or false. Now in so doing, what we're doing is we're giving our program the ability to respond to changing conditions and intelligently automate repetitive tasks. So over the next few lessons then, we're gonna be focusing on control flow by looking at JavaScript's conditional statements and loops. Let's understand what they both are. Okay, so let's first understand what conditional statements are. Conditional statements are basically checks to see if a certain condition is either true or false. Like we had in the previous example with the flowchart, the question, are you hungry, had two possible answers. And then if the condition is true, we can run, say, code A. If it's false, we run code B. Okay, so that's conditional statements. Let's now look at what loops are. So loops allow us to perform repetitive tasks with less code. For example, using loops, we can iterate over an array and perform some sort of action on each piece of data. Or we can use a loop to compile a list of all the items. Let's now take a look at the different conditional statements and loops that we have. Okay, so for conditionals then, we have things such as if statements, and there's also variants of if statements, such as if else and else if. We have switch statements, and finally we have the ternary operator. For loops, we have things such as for loops, which as we'll see are the most common type of loop in JavaScript, do and while loops, for in loops, and for of loops. So over the next few lessons then, we're going to understand JavaScript control flow by taking each of these in detail. We'll start in the next lesson with if statements. Let's go ahead and summarize. So JavaScript control flow is all about how we control the flow of our code. This is done by using JavaScript's conditional statements and loops, and finally, using control flow makes our projects more powerful, more dynamic, and more interactive. Remember we said that code is executed generally from top to bottom, line by line. While with control flow, based upon whether certain conditions are either true or false, we can choose to execute different sections of our code. And of course, in the coming lessons, we're going to see how this all ties together. So guys, that's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to start learning about conditional statements by looking at if statements. As always, guys, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you on the next one.